Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. In this video, we will be performing an oil change on a 2016 Ram 1500 pickup. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. So we're going to raise and support the vehicle so that we can drain the oil out. Um, we're going to pull the drain plug on the oil pan. So this happens to be a half inch bolt. Um, you could use a wrench or you can use a socket. I'm going to use a socket and a ratchet. Um, this is a half inch socket with a 3 8 ratchet. Uh, we actually sell this as a kit at 1AAuto.com. Put that on. It's pretty tight. Okay. We're going to put a drain bucket underneath here. Once you get it broken free, you can pull it up by hand. And drain it into the bucket. Once that's all drained out, then we're going to take our drain plug, stick our drain plug back in, tighten it up by hand. Then I'm going to use my ratchet, tighten it up. Make, make sure you do not over tighten it, just a little bit more than snug. That's good. All right, now we're going to take our filter off. Get at it from the front here. We're going to use a strap wrench. And put it around and loosen. Once you get it loosened a little bit, um, you can do it by hand. The strap wrench. You're going to have a drain bucket underneath it because some oil will leak out. Sure you hold it so it doesn't fall. We'll pull it straight forward. And pull it up. And you're gonna grab it and tighten it as tight as you physically can by hand. If you don't have a good grip on it, you can put your strap wrench back on it. I'm just going to use a towel. And that's pretty tight. Now we're going to take some brake parts cleaner and wash down the area near the filter because it dripped all over the place. And on the steering rack. And that'll clean up some of the oil that spilled when taking the when taking the filter off. And I'll just wipe it with a rag. So your oil fill cap is right here. You grab it, turn it to the left. All right, so now we're gonna put our funnel in the fill hole for the oil. We're gonna fill this up with oil. This vehicle takes 5W20 motor oil. Um, it requires seven quarts of oil. I'm gonna put six quarts of oil in and then check it. All right, so now I'm gonna pull my funnel up. Put my cap back on. Now I'm going to start it up for a minute, let it run for about 15 seconds. Then I'll shut it off. So after you let it sit for about a minute or two, I'm going to 
pull the dipstick, wipe it with a rag. We'll reinstart our dipstick, pull our dipstick out again. As you can see, uh, the oil level's right there. We want it up in this safe zone right here. So it looks to be about a quart low. So we'll add our last quart and it should be good. Add our last quart. As you can see, the oil's right about at the top of the E. So that's exactly where we want it. Let's put that back. We install our oil cap. As you can see on this screen, um, when your oil change is due, it'll, you'll have a message that comes up saying oil change required. Um, what you want to do is on these buttons on the steering wheel, you can scroll through and you'll see it's going to change where you're at. Um, right now it's on the trip. Um, that's the music. That's the messages. The enter screen speed and now we're on the truck screen so it looks like a truck right above the fuel so then you're gonna move over to this arrow right below the phone button and you're gonna click on that and you're gonna keep scrolling through on this there's your tire pressures and then next is your trans temp and oil temperature and now this is the oil life Okay, so right now we're at 77%, but I'm gonna show you how to reset it. Uh, what you do is you're gonna hold that same arrow button down, and then it's gonna ask you to confirm you wanna reset the oil life. You're gonna go back to this button and scroll down to the okay, and then you're gonna hit the enter to confirm. And it's back to 100%. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.